static dynamic IP addresses. What is it? Firstly, let, let's look at an IP address. Essentially an IP address is a number. It's a set of four sets of numbers that form a IP address, which is used by a computer to identify itself on the network. Think about it this way. If you go to your Google machine, you open up a browser and you type in www.google.com and you click on enter, behind that it actually is talking to an IP address of some sort. So better that you know www.google.com than you needing to remember an IP address that may be sitting behind it. Your computer at home, your computer at work works in the same way. Your computer has its own name, whatever that may be called. It could be my PC 01, but it also has an IP address assigned to it. And that IP address is what helps get the computer to communicate on the network and to communicate with other computers and other devices on a network. Dynamic and static. Dynamic IP addresses are IP addresses that are assigned automatically, but they will commonly change. It's not an IP address that you set and will stay like that forever. A static IP is an IP address that you set on your computer and that it never changes. So if you're in a home network, if you're in an office network, there is gonna be some sort of a device out on your network that is assigning IP addresses out to devices on a network, assigning dynamic IP addresses out to the network. This is what's called DHCP. This could be a DHCP server. It could be perhaps a router or a modem that you've got set up at home that is set up to assign IP addresses out to devices, to computers, out on a network. So this DHCP server, now whether that be your home router, it could be a DHCP server in a corporate environment, in a workplace, and that is set up with a range of IP addresses that are being allocated to computers out on a network. So an IP address could be in a range of 192.168.0.1 through to 192.168.0.2. 50. So all of those IPs have been defined. They're ready to assign dynamically to computers out on a network. And then essentially a computer connects into your network. You plug it in with a network cable or you connect to a Wi-Fi network. And then the computer goes out and says, hey, I need an IP address. Without an IP address, that computer cannot actually function on the network. So it needs an IP address. So it's gonna say, is there a DHCP service out on the network? And they will say, Yes, here I am, I'm a DHCP server, I'm a DHCP service running on a router, here is an IP address and it'll go and assign an IP address to that computer. Now it's dynamic because generally those IP addresses will change, so they may have what's called lease times. So in the DHCP service, you're going to be assigning IP addresses and you're gonna say maybe this IP address lasts for only eight hours. So then after eight hours, that computer that has now an IP address that IP will expire and now it needs a new IP address. So it will go back out to the network, look for that DHCP service, and then a new IP address will be assigned to it. So essentially an IP address that is assigned to the computer, you don't have any control over that on the computer side and it'll change automatically as the lease runs out. A static IP is one that you go and set yourself. If you're on a Windows computer, if you're on a Mac, if you're on an iPhone, an Android device, you can actually go into the network settings of these devices and actually allocate a static IP. So even though it could be getting an IP address automatically, dynamically from various places, from a DHCP service of some sort, you can go into the network settings and manually say, I want my IP address to be this. And you go into these settings and you say, okay, I want my IP to be 192.168.0.33. That is my IP address and you set it statically. And because you manually set it, that IP will never change. So even though there could be a DHCP service out somewhere on the network, allocating dynamic IP addresses out on the network, that computer will not ask for an IP address because it's been assigned a static IP. There are the differences between dynamic and static. Check out some of my other videos where we talk a little bit more around DHCP and even how to allocate and how to set a static IP on a Mac and a Windows PC. Thank you so much for spending the time, appreciate it. Please do what you need to do on the social medias by liking, commenting, subscribing. Do also check out some of my other videos as well so that you don't miss out on all things tech.